Hi, Capricorn. This is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Knight of Wands. Something exciting, okay? Knight of Wands. But we'll see. You know, the Knight of Wands is somebody who's fun, flirty, independent, likes to have a good time, very adventurous. But this person can be hot and cold. In and out. Back and forth, you know? But we'll see. If this is the energy of something exciting or a player, we'll see. Oh, more wands. Page of wands. Wow, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So there's some communication or some action taking place here. Somebody wants to communicate with you and tell you how passionate they feel about you, maybe? I mean, yeah, they do. They want to have some fun, okay? Three of Cups just turned over but didn't come out. This is, this could be something fun and new to do. What else for the collective here? Knight of Pentacles. So this person's like moving a little slow. Hmm. But this also can be energy of someone who wants to build with you. Okay. They they it, they may want to start off as like friends. What else for the collective? Love. They could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Yeah, this is somebody who waits. This is somebody who's very patient. Oh yeah. And strategic too. Look at this. Seven seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. This is somebody here who's patiently waiting. This could be a secret admirer here. Hold on, let me just see. So now we have air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The number 77 could be significant for you. This person could be born in 1977. Hmm. Somebody wants to go like under the radar, go undetected or something. Could be secret admirer energy though. Uh-oh, let's see, I dropped something. Hold on one second. Let's see what we dropped. The Page of Swords. Hmm. Page of Swords. So there's somebody here watching you secretively. This person is, like I said, trying to fly under the radar. Show me more about the Seven of Swords, please. Let's see more about that. Oh, this is somebody you know. Hmm. Five of Cups. This is somebody you know. Somebody reg This person could regret lying to you. If you know this person, this person could regret lying, cheating, sneaking around. For some of y'all, this let's see. Two of Wands. Interesting. Hmm. This person is doing everything they can to focus on the future, but they're stuck in the past. So definitely giving some regret energy with the Five of Cups. Now look at this. Now there goes a commitment. Here's a commitment. This is something someone wanting to offer some form of commitment here with the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles, you guys. This is someone here regretting something that they didn't give you or offer you. They regret not offering that to you. There's some drama involved with this, though. Five of Wands. There's some or some inner conflict. What's this conflict about? What? Ace of Wands. This is getting weirder by the second. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Wait one second. Because it's like there's a new passionate beginning, but there could be drama or gossip in the way of this person being able to offer. this stable long-term committed connect you know like commitment ace of ace of pentacles is here with the ace of wands this person wants to give this to you now show me more of this conflict was this person non-committal they could could have been non-committal here with this ace of wands and the five of wands yeah they were like non-committal Kind of wishy-washy energy here with the two of swords. 
maybe for some of you, they denied the connection that they felt for you, the chemistry they felt for you. For some of y'all, this person could have, I mean, but it's just like giving me energy of like, something's great, something's great, I'm having a great time, this is wonderful. And then it's like, oh, somebody's just waiting. Or just like all of a sudden, things could have moved fast in the beginning and then they could have slowed down to a sword. So somebody's got a decision to make, but it's a difficult decision here. Someone who was in denial, the Sun card, someone who was in denial and couldn't make a decision is either A, getting ready to make a decision or something is being revealed to them or someone is having an awakening, like an aha moment, I know what to do. Show me more here about this Two of Swords. Could be dealing with the Leos. Yeah, Three of Swords in Reverse. Three, Libra Energy. The Three of Swords in Reverse, you guys, is like, this is definitely a reading for someone you know, right? This is somebody you were with in the past. I feel like they were flighty, in and out, wishy-washy. Um, a lot of fun. They may have made you wait made excuses about why they couldn't be in a uh, committed relationship. Now they regret being in this behavior and not making this decision. For some of you all, this was a stalemate. It was a lot of passion, but there also could have been some sort of external conflict that you are not aware of, which could be like drama or gossip, maybe family, maybe friends. For some of you all, it'll be different, right? Um, there was a heartbreak and an upset at one moment, a breakup. Now you're healing. This person wants to heal. All right. So tell me more here about this new beginning. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This person wants to bring a love offer to you. They want to bring a love offer to you. They can't take it anymore is what I'm getting here. They can't, yeah, this King of Cups and Nine of Cups. This person could be indulging. And look, as I'm turning over this King of Cups here with this Nine of Cups, this is someone who's overindulging. This person may be a heavy drinker or they like drink themselves to sleep or something. But, but the King of Cups, I was turning this over, but this person's in your head and they're having stress and anxiety over whatever occurred between the two of you. They're in this energy. They're in, this, they're in their head. They're overthinking something here. They're trapped in, in their head with thoughts about you. You were a wish fulfillment to this person, but... Hmm. Show me more here about this person. Three of Wands. So now they want to move forward. Um, they they want to Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, you also could be dealing with any sign, but Cancer Pisces Scorpio Taurus is here. Really, everybody is here. But the Three of Wands is about forward movement. It's about planning, waiting for your ships to come in. It's about growth, expansion, success. This person could be wanting to travel too. Show me more about the Three of Wands. Okay, Six of Pentacles. They may want to come towards you and offer you something balanced. They are ready to give to this connection. Yeah, they're ready to give to this connection. They're ready to fight for something here and give to the connection with the Nine of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. They want to come out of, yeah, they want to bring this back into balance and call a truce with you is what this is with the Six of Swords and the Justice card. Could be dealing with the Libra, like I said, especially with this three of swords and reverses here. This person's been thinking a lot in their head, a lot about reconciliation, like a lot, a lot. The four of swords, judgment, and the hermit. Like somebody's like totally in their head. Like, look at this. This person may be dreaming about you at night when they go to sleep. Or they can't sleep if they're up at night. Show me more here for this connection and this person. Bonded. Like I said, there was an instant connection thinking long term in each other's head. There was an instant connection with this person. You, The two of you bonded quite instantly. 
when this person met you, they saw a future with you. They weren't able to offer it, right? For whatever reasons that, that we talked about earlier, for some of you all it was third party, for some of you all, they were like non-committal. They weren't ready, hot and cold, in and out, kind of wanted to have fun, but that was it. Like, <clears throat> look at that. Secretive, hiding who they are, not the whole truth may have a side piece, like I said. For some of you all, this person definitely was. Even if they have a third person, which I do feel like some of you all have experienced that the connection they had with the other person is just, it's just not the same. But, but they hid this from you. They hid their feelings from you. They, they hid who they really were from you. Or maybe this is a situation where they were able to be the real you, the, the real them with you collective. But with this other person, they feel like they cannot be themselves. But they have a special bond with you. Yeah. Denial. Won't see the truth. Can't let you go. And feeling blindsided. Oh my goodness, this person feels bonded to you. They can't let you go. Which we know that, but it says honest, showing their love, not hiding anything, no game, no playing games. See, that was the energy that came out earlier with the Knight of the King of Cups, you know, um the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, and the, the Nine of Cups. Like I feel like this person's just in their head a lot. Quite a bit. Yeah, they ran away from you. Like I said, this person ran away from you guys. This was the runner in the connection. Your person was the runner. They had this card literally says fear of commitment can't be tied down too much too soon. You see what I mean? Like the connection was just so strong between the two of you that this person was like, okay, I'm just I'd rather run away from this. But like they can't run away from this anymore. Even when this person sleeps, they can't run away from this. Hold on. Let's see what we drop. It says, already smitten by you, tracking you online, and wants to go further. This person's looking at you online, okay? For some of you all, this person is still involved with a third party. So just be mindful of that, because this unfaithful card is here, and so is the secretive card, which again is, we did see the Seven of Swords. It says unfaithful, another lover in the mix. Someone is honoring what? Someone is, I'm sorry, honing in a partner can't be trusted. So somebody else has another person. You know what I mean? So be careful when this person comes back towards you. Use your discernment on whether or not they're still seeing that other third party. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, see the two of pentacles. They're still juggling. They're still juggling. This person will juggle you behind somebody's back, whether you know it or not. If you allowed it, the strength card, more Leo energy. Show me more here. So somebody's trying to have the, the strength to make the, the right decision, though. Yeah, they are. They're trying to. This two of wands is back again. They're trying to have the strength to. They're trying to make a good decision, which is good because the two of wands is about. Let me figure out. There's two paths. Which way am I going to go? Am I going to go over here or am I going to go over there? Not one path isn't wrong, but there's one path with this one person that this person obviously wants. So that tells me that this person is attached to this third party for some reason. Could be could be children, could be history, past um family members friends because we did see five of wands and as i say that the ten of pentacles comes out this person does want a family with you ten of pentacles okay this person sees the future they feel like if they can just have the courage and confidence to overcome something right and just be with you they can plan a future with you hmm Somebody may have to end something here with this with this um, death energy. They either want to transform something with you and grow and 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 transform, or they may have to end something with a situation where they have children with somebody, or there's something else here. 
Show me more here. The, there goes that trapped energy, anxiety. Somebody is fearing and having anxiety over ending a situation, a ten of pentacles situation or something. What's this anxiety about? Clarify the nine of swords. What's this anxiety about, please? This person's like haunted by their dreams, though. Knight of Swords. This person's like there's some form of form of ridicule here. This person is afraid and ashamed of some form of ridicule. Yeah, C Five of Swords. With the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, there's a lot of swords here. Somebody here could also have some form of mental illness. I don't know. That seems like a lot. It could be it's just a simple collective as this person having to end something somewhere else. Show me more about this Five of Swords. Judgment. Judgment. Somebody's getting judgment for something. Somebody's having to pay for something that they did. This is karma. This person could be experiencing karma. What does this have to do with my collective? What does this have to do with my collective, please? Yeah, this person wants to come towards you. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. They totally want you. They love you. They want to work this out. I just, there's some other stuff over there I feel like they haven't figured out. So be mindful of that because I don't feel like this is something that can happen overnight. You know, I don't. Now, for some of y'all, maybe there's something new here, but I don't get that this is new. The next cup out is the Six of Cups. This could be your soulmate. Now, is it possible that you have somebody else here that's new, that's a soulmate? You may meet this person somewhere in a work environment or something, or like around family members or friends or something, or you, they're just someone here who you can trust and they're a team player. You know, and they want to offer this to you. To you, um, could be that also. Seven of Swords. There goes that Seven of Swords again. This is the person from the past trying to sneak away from somebody else. This person is going to come back towards you, collective. This person has two, five swords. He's carrying five swords, but there's two more. He's going to go back for the other two. He can't carry all seven right now. And the way I'm looking at this is this person's walking one direction, but he's looking back at the other two swords, which is in the opposite way of something that's not new. Like this person is looking the opposite direction of the Ace of Cups. So that tells me this person's trying to sneak away and then without being detected, From something else. Interesting that okay, the eight of swords is back out here again. There are lots of swords here. You know what's so funny about this ace of swords? Um, not ace of swords. The eight of swords. This is a different deck. This is the after tarot that I'm using. After tarot. Um this one there's somebody here who's freeing this person from these bondages right from this bondage even though they have the power to free themselves but now this person is being freed somebody is trying to sneak away and there goes that ace of swords i keep somebody's either about to get some form of like realization or truth that sets them free or someone is going to feel like um you know like exhilarated because they are finally free or someone is trying to some of y'all somebody's getting out of jail <laughs> i don't could totally be somebody being released from jail 
why is this ace of swords here please why is the ace of swords here the queen of wands the other person male or female the emperor on the bottom of the deck with the queen of cups and the page of cups and the devil and the king of cups look the, here goes the emperor this emperor's got their eye on this queen of cups somebody's trying to sneak away from a queen of wands which is typically to go say i'm sorry page of cups to someone else now for some of you all this could be a different person right um like new love coming in for you coming towards you but there's somebody here in your energy who is your counterpart this person's your soulmate they're totally obsessed with you right they love you, King of Cups, to the to the devil. They're obsessed with this Queen of Cups. This Emperor is obsessed, and they want to apologize. But I feel like they're still dealing with this this other option. Who's this Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups? You may have some options, and if you do have some options, this 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 old person is going to be upset. Five of Cups. They may fear that you're going to reject them. Yeah, they feel like you may reject their offer. The Empress with the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Look, I'm going to show you this. They feel like you may reject this. Hmm. Are they going to be upset if you do choose somebody else? This person is going to be broke, lonely. Broken hearted, life's not over. I can start again. Y'all remember that's Brandy. This person's gonna be lonely and broken hearted. I like if you choose somebody else, because some of y'all very well could do that or choose to do that. But like, that's the reading. Okay, hopefully it made some sense and resonated for you guys. Um, please like share subscribe i love you until next time um stay safe out there and trust your intuition bye